When we designed the regulator, we assumed that the states are fed back through the state feedback gain. However, the states are not available in a practical system, and to this end we designed an observer which estimated the states. We then fed these estimated states back through the state feedback gain. In today's video, we look at the effects of using the estimated states instead of the actual states on the behavior of the combined system. We also describe the state variable compensator as a classical controller. This diagram shows the plant and full state variable compensator. The compensator has three components, the state feedback, the reference feed forward, and the observer. When designing the state feedback gain K, we assumed that the states were available. Since this is an unrealistic assumption, we designed the observer to reconstruct the states as accurately as possible, and we then used these estimated states for feedback. However, we introduced additional dynamics when we added the observer, and the dynamics of the combined system will now be different from that of the system without the observer. Today we look at how the system dynamics change when we add an observer. The dynamics of the combined system is described by its poles. It can be shown that the poles of the combined system is given by the roots of this characteristic equation, where the characteristic polynomial is the determinant of Si minus A plus Bk times the determinant of Si minus A plus Mc. We recognize the determinant of Si minus A plus Bk as the closed loop characteristic polynomial and the determinant of Si minus A plus Mc as the observer characteristic polynomial. The characteristic polynomial of the combined system is therefore the product of the closed loop characteristic polynomial and the observer characteristic polynomial. A root of the closed loop characteristic equation will make the closed loop characteristic polynomial zero and will therefore also be a root of the combined system. A closed loop pole will therefore also be a pole of the combined system. By the same reasoning, an observer pole will also be a pole of the combined system. We can therefore conclude that the poles of the combined system are the combination of the closed loop poles and the observer poles. This is called the separation principle. One can therefore design the state feedback and observer separately and know that the poles of the combined system is simply the combination of the poles of the separately designed state feedback and observer. If we place the observer poles relative to the closed loop poles such that the closed loop poles are dominant, then the dynamics of the combined system will be dominated by the closed loop poles and will therefore not differ significantly from the behavior of the system without an observer. We will prove the separation principle at a later stage. We have now looked at all three components of the state variable compensator and it is insightful to view it as a classical controller. In a classical control system, the error between the reference input and the plant output is fed into the controller and the output of the controller is the plant input u. If we ignore the reference input, the transfer function of the controller is described as the transfer function from minus the plant output y to the plant input u. Similarly, for a state variable compensator, we can describe the transfer function from minus the plant output y to the plant input u as this expression. Here we again ignore the reference input. Note that the order of the compensator transfer function is the same as the order of the plant. This result shows that the state variable compensator can equivalently be implemented as a classical controller. However, it might be significantly easier to design the state variable compensator by designing the state feedback, reference feed forward, and observer separately and then combining them than designing a similar classical controller all at once.